And welcome to the Hy-Vee Pepsi High School Game of the Week here on Spectrum News. It is Olathe South and Shawnee Mission Northwest in the final regular season game of the season. And a good evening to you, Joe Van Amberg, along with the Hall of Famer, Michael Watson. And Michael, for Olathe South, this is a team that's been one of the top teams all season long. And Shawnee Mission Northwest, they're chasing perfection right now. It should be a great game. They really are. I love rivalry games. Two people, two teams who know one another. These kids play against each other in the summertime. Now you get to bring it in for a hot Friday night matchup. Well, let's look at our players to watch. First for Olathe South, Nick Anderson. Hey, this guy can flat out go. He's what we call a walking bucket. You see his length and athleticism. Averaging 18 points a game, six rebounds, and what I love, 56% from the field. He is the engine for this Falcons team. And for Shawnee Mission Northwest, Keaton Wagler. Yeah, Keaton Wagler can flat out play the game of basketball. Loves to shoot 12 points a game so far this year. Shooting a whopping 47% from three-point range. These two teams are no strangers to last-second heroics. Corrales hitting the buzzer beater back on February 9th. And not to be outdone, though, Shawnee Mission Northwest with Ethan Taylor at the last second. Getting the bucket should be a good one tonight. Welcome back to Shawnee Mission Northwest High School. The fans are ready for Olay the South and Shawnee Mission Northwest. Do they see us? We're behind it. They don't see us? They don't see us? All right. <laughs> We're having a big time up here. A great crowd. Olay the South, a strong showing as well. Michael, a big game here tonight. It's a lead game, rivalry game, last game of the regular season. One team chasing perfection, but they've got to go against one of the top teams in 6A Kansas. Yeah, this is personal. You can feel the atmosphere, the energy in the building. We're literally sitting in the student section of Shadi Mission Northwest. I can't hear you. I'm standing on top of the bleachers. This is going to be a fun one. Opening tip won by Shawnee Mission Northwest and Keaton Wagler, who was our player to watch with the basketball. Inside, Ethan Taylor, strong. Mason with the rebound. Well, that's all night long. All he has to do is turn around and put it in the basket. No one can get close to blocking his shot. Oh, nice play. Anderson, no. Oh, wow. Salmon the other way. Tyler Salmon. Ethan Taylor. This is Avon Riley. Taylor, the spin. Foul. And early on, we get to see the seven foot sophomore for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Yeah, he's not just a stationary player for the Cougars, he is very agile at seven feet. Sunflower League co freshman of the year last year. Gives us the first point of the game. MVP of the Northtown Classic earlier this year. Averaging nearly 10 points per game. As we get the second one, Anderson with the rebound. Colonies. Jordan Mason. Luke Gorman. Nick Anderson. Mason again. Inside. Oh, and Mason with the two. That's a nice teardrop right there because he was, saw Taylor coming over. Had to get that up high and quick. Wagner working left side. Three pointer. Got it. Wag with the swag from the corner. So now Corrales. Oh. Oh, did he hit him? Oh, no, hit the backboard. Rebound Van Collins. Collins pushing the floor. There's Riley in the corner. Look out, three-pointer. Sammons couldn't get that one to go. And a foul call. Tyler Salmon hitting that three a moment ago. Tried to get another one to fall here early. 
Dan Morrow is in his 10th season as head coach of Olathe South, graduate from the University of Nebraska at Omaha, where he played basketball. Top five in all time, three point field goals made. First year here at Olathe South, 10 and 11, and then won 23 games the second year. And he's just done such a great job here at Olathe South. Yeah, Dan Morrow, it's great when you got a coach who played the game at a high level, even stroke it. And he has a couple of really nice pieces on this team. Holidays Whoa! for three. Polonies knocking it down from deep. Josiah Polonies gives away the South a one point lead. Taylor. Wagler. Salmon back to Wagler. Salmon will try the other corner. Got it. Man. Shooters shoot the ball. And if he's open, you can count it. Corrales, the fadeaway tie game. Oh, Corrales, nice move and back and forth. Both teams getting it all early, 7-7 seven, seven tie. Taylor, this Collins. Wagler. Salmon inside, doesn't go. Rebound Anderson. Nice high low, good defense by Powell, and he's coming over to bother that shot. Anderson for oh, three. Let's go. <laughs> Nick A coming down with the bucket. He said, I'm here, fellas. And it gives Olay the South a three point edge. Uh oh, give me them cookies. Almost Wagler. lost it. Salmon, the answer, oh. yes. Shootout tonight here at Northwest. Corrales. We might lose the feed. <laughs> Rebound to Gorman. Polonies. Uh oh. Anderson. Anderson for three. No. Wagler with the rebound. And Wagler is so shifty, but it's great on ball defense from Olathe South as well. Here's Riley. Tipped by Polonese and Anderson with a steal. Uh -oh. Taylor, go! Uh -oh. I'm bigger than you! So Ethan Taylor with the jam. And it's Shawnee Mission Northwest back in front by two. Back and forth we go. I'm ready to get my shoes, man, and get out there and hoop myself. These boys are balling. Both teams doing a great job. Corrales three rattles out. Taylor the rebound. Wagler. Taylor. This is Collins. Taylor, Salmon again. Oh, He's on my fire. Goodness. Where's the fire, Marshall? I mean, he's shooting this automatic. Mason, kick out. Anderson. Inside, trying to get it to O'Gorman, out of bounds to Shawnee Mission Northwest. Shawnee Mission Northwest led by David Birch in his fourth season previously at Piper. Won a 4A state title there. Up-tempo style of play. And now he's trying to lead Shawnee Mission Northwest to a perfect season. Well, I love the fact that he gives his shooters the green light. There's no hesitation. You don't even have to have the ball fully in your hands. We can let it fly. Played his ball at Ottawa University, was their scoring leader there as well. So he knows a thing or two about scoring. Gotta love it. Corner, Bolton, and one. Oh, wow. Bolton coming in strong, taking the contact, able to get it up off the glass. Take a look right here. Nice ball movement. He's wide open. New stays to contact. And one opportunity. Kevin Bolton, the 5'11 senior, is hurt at the beginning of the season. Would have been a starter without that injury, but big minutes off the bench. Polonese. Polonese drives, swatted away by Taylor. Oh, man. 
He knew that was coming. It's like a thundercloud rolling in. It just gets dark really quick. Hoskin. Taylor inside. No, but a foul. Got to put that in your left hand, big fella, and Dunkey with your left. Went back to the right, but always oh, sophomore, still learning, still growing. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Gary Steinbacher called for the foul. Now Ethan Taylor, honorable mention, all Sunflower League last year. Top 100 prospects. Take a look at it. Polonies thought he had it open. Oh no, it's raining! Here comes Thomas with the block. Two minutes and seven seconds left in this fast paced first quarter. It's the second one. Shawnee Mission Northwest is now open a nine point lead. Mason on Bolton. The spin doesn't go. That's good defense by Bolton, cutting off his left hand, forcing him to take a bad shot. And if you're late to South, you got to try to get back into this. Got to get some stops offensively to lead out at nine. Keaton Wagler uh -oh. for three. It is raining threes here at Shawnee Mission Northwest. I mean, what an onslaught from deep by the Cougars. Wagner getting in on the action. Now late to South looking for a response. Anderson. Anderson. Whoa. Oh. And one, what a shot by Nick Anderson. I don't know how he got that one to go. Taylor was closing in for the block, but Nick Anderson right here, nice half spin, and he's hanging out. Taylor missed time, did he able to get that to go? He'll go to the line and try to complete the three-point play. A much-needed basket as the lead had ballooned to 12. Nick Anderson, first team all conference last year. Division one level athletes. Completes the three point play. Lead is back to single digits. On a minute 15 of this first quarter. Bolton. Nixon lost it. That's good defense. Delargy with the steal. Mason. Offensive foul. Wow. Got Mason for the push off. So now back to Shawnee Mission Northwest. It's Bolton bringing up the basketball. Final minute of the first quarter. Nixon. Bolton. Riley. Bolton again. Cougars being patient on the offensive end. Vincent wow. Anderson. Anderson almost that's, had a, a steal. that's an offensive foul, yeah. Offensive foul call. against Shawnee Mission Northwest. So Anderson with a big bucket on the other end and then draws the offensive foul. Yeah, Vince Nixon, number 32. Nick Anderson did a good job getting his hands in the passing lane, and Nixon. Extends his arm. See if Olathe South will hold for the last shot. Morales. Anderson. Inside on Riley, the fade. Oh Anderson. my goodness! That's a grown man shot right there. So Riley will now play for the final shot. Nine seconds. Riley for three. Riley. Strong. Hoskins at the buzzer. No. What a first quarter. It is raining threes here from Shawnee Mission Northwest. Let's take a look at some of those three-point shots. Well, if you like three-point shooting, this is the place to be. Polonies gets it going early. But after that, it was lights out. Great job coming down full court. There's Anderson, four to three. And Tyler Salmon just got in fuego out there.
we're right there. Did you see us? You might have missed us. We're right there in the in, in the squad with the shiny mission Northwest student section. Well, Coach Morrow talking to his Olathe South players right now. Any adjustments there? Because it looked like Shoney Mission Northwest was about ready to run out of the gym with this, and then Nick Anderson showed up and got things going. Yeah, Nick Anderson is the, is the silencer right there. He can create his own shot off the dribble. He and Mason, as well as Polonies, I think you kind of just got to take that on slot when you're playing at home, an undefeated team, and they're doing a good job so far. The High V and Pepsi Game of the Week is brought to you by High V and Pepsi, proud to support Greater Kansas City High School Athletics. Let's Dion, go down to the Dion, third member Dion, of our team, Dion, Dion, Dion Clisso. Dion, Dion. Well, guys, you see why uh, Shawnee Mission Northwest is 19 and 0. Uh, if they get hot on the outside, everybody can score on that team. And they started with four juniors and a sophomore. Uh, so a lot of young talent on this team, and they have good players that came off the bench there and let the starters get a good two, three minutes there at the end of that quarter. And they're pretty, they should be pretty fresh down the road. Corrales short on the three, rebound to Vincent Nixon. You got to take smart shots if you're a late to the south. You can't bail them out, especially with Taylor not on the floor for the Cougars. You got to try to get some drives toward the basket. Wagler. Wagler got that, he got that funk to him on that, on that perimeter. He can handle the rock. Bolton. Vincent Nixon. Inside to Dom Nixon. Blocked. Bolton, nice pass inside, Vincent Nixon. That was great hustle from Bolton. Not only did he get to that loose ball, Corrales, but nice look down low as well. Corrales, Anderson, Mason. Oh, nice back door. Oh! Corrales, O'Gorman for two. Somebody got to pick up those dimes that he's just dropped out there. Oh, my goodness. Nixon, Wagler, Vincent Nixon, the spin, strong, and Anderson the rebound. Anderson, Polonis, Mason open three, no, oh, man, spun out. That would have been big, cut the lead to four, but here comes Wagler. Wagler, that doesn't go. Vincent Nixon with the putback. Well, you got to get in a rebound if you're Nick Anderson. He's on the perimeter. You got to help your team from the guard position. Corrales. Inside O'Gorman doesn't go. Oh, man. Just misses. That's a great pass from Corrales. So here's Riley. Three pointer. No. Mason with the rebound. And this is the time if you're a late this side, you got to try to get some buckets with this couple of starters for the Cougars on the floor. Nick Anderson. I mean, he's a walking bucket out here. We saw a couple of nice finishes around the basket so far from him tonight. Sounds like he heard you. He, he, he can hear me. He can hear me right now. Wagler. Oh. Rolls out. So here it comes Olathe South. Anderson picked off by Sam or Riley, excuse me. Kick out Wagler. Hesitation, two-pointer. Man, so smooth. Under control and a nice floater. Anderson from way outside. No. Hey, you don't need that shot. I like to see him get downhill to the bucket. Riley, that doesn't fall and it hits the wire, so out of bounds to await the south. See, that's the one thing about falling in love with the three. We hit a couple of threes early. Everybody wants to get into the flow, like the basket becomes an ocean. But you got to be controlled and be disciplined and take the shots that you're given. And a timeout on the floor, and I think the coaches may have seen the same thing you did, Michael, wanting to take a timeout. This is time maybe to regroup now Absolutely. that people are uh, cooling off a little bit. Absolutely. You got to reset. You got to get your team back focused and let them know how we play the game, no matter what the score is right now. Well, next week, the High V and Pepsi High School Game of the Week, we're going to be covering 5A boys substate. That game will be at 7.05. We don't know who that's going to be yet. But you know, it's going to be a great matchup, Michael. It's going to be a good one. Can't wait to 
and Rod cast that one for you all here. Spectrum News. Take a look at the student section of Shiny Mission Northwest. They came ready. I mean, they, they lined up early. We're up here. You see us? We're, do you see us? We're right there. That's me. I got both hands. Raise the roofs. Raise the roof. They're like, Dad, you're old. Uh, that's us. That's me. We're... Hi, Mom. <laughs> Follow these. And Olathe the South backdoor. Corrales doesn't get the reverse. Rebound Steinbacher. The grip for three. No. And Salmon with the rebound. <laughs> Waggler, free throw line. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That's a grown man move right there. Holidays. Drives. Kick out. Steinbacher three. Strong. And they're going to get those opportunities with Thomas. He's not going to necessarily venture out to that perimeter. He's got to knock him down. But Samuel was going to try another one. I did too. Taylor tipped out of bounds. And we'll save a show to Mission Northwest. Coach Morrow with the hands over there. In a Division I basketball player. Absolutely. Still got the hands. And Collins. Two pointer. Got him. Man. The pull up, the mid range jump shot that I'm seeing from these young men tonight, that's a lost art, but you see it from Wagler, from Late to South, but great shots. Corrales. Three pointer. Corrales oh, uh -oh. the big three. Had him on that island by himself, pulls up to knock it down. Makes it a 10 point game. Salmon again. Salmon! Let's go! Oh my goodness! The junior is having quite a night so far. It's just not fair. Like, it's great defense. It just doesn't matter. He is knocking it down. Polonese with the spin. Corrales corner, no. Collins the rebound. Inside, Simmons oh! all the way. I shoot threes, I run the floor, I get buckets. Sam, I am Simmons. Steinbacher, Polonese. Uh-oh, come here. Oh, you got to make that one. Taylor the rebound. Here's Salmon again. And what a first half for Tyler Salmon. Riley. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did he moonwalk around on the floor like that? Traveling violation gives it back to him. Check out the moonwalk right here. He hit him with the hee hee, check him out. <laughs> and he just looked like, you know what, coach, that's on me. <laughs> uh, coach Birch. He got to laugh at him. Like, what were you doing? My feet didn't tell my brain, and my brain didn't tell my toes. And it just stopped. So he gives Olathe South an opportunity here under two minutes left. Mason. Corrales. Thomas just, he just changes everybody's thought process when they get down there. Anderson. Oh, got caught in the air. Somehow got it back. Kick and ball. It, so it stays with Olathe South. Got caught in the air, but that's Thomas. I mean, seven feet. It's hard to even see over him one, and he puts his hands up. He's going to make you think twice about that in the lane. You know, he doesn't have a lot of block shots, couple on the night so far. Late the South. Mason with the spin. Anderson three. No. Taylor the rebound. Man, this shiny mission Northwest team. Just a well oiled machine from the tip. Uh oh. Taylor, a foul against Morales. A foul? Wow. I thought that was clean from our vantage point. 
Take a look right here on the pick and roll. Crowder comes over to help. Oh, man, that's the whole ball. Wow. Taylor, the sophomore, makes the first one. The scary thing about him is he's still developing. I mentioned the Division I interest. He's only going to continue to get better as he makes one out of two there. Three-pointer. Got it. It's Corrales for three. Corrales on the break. Cutting the lead to 13, a minute remaining here in the first half. A must need a bucket, but can they get a stop? Trying to mention Northwest has been unstoppable in the offensive end all night long. Uh oh. Everybody hold your. Uh oh! Taylor! Let's go! Timeout for Shawnee Mission Northwest as Taylor bringing down the house. I mean, it's just like the Jaws movie when. You know he's coming. We saw it from our vantage point. The nice pick and roll towards the basket. You heard, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> And the Cougars, 15-point lead with 44 seconds remaining here in the half. Well, Michael, if you're a late to South right now, what do you do? You, you got to pray to the big fella that Salmon stops hitting these threes right now. I mean, he it's personal. I don't know. Who did something to him for Olathe South, but he's taking it personal. He's just launching threes, hitting everything so far tonight. Well, Coach Morrow, a lot of basketball left. And Olathe South, they've been in some tough games this year. You know, that Olathe East game. Coach Morrow, when I talked to him, he talked about that, you know, the team, the way that they bounced back after that one, the leadership from guys like Polonese and Anderson, and they're going to need that here to try and work their way back into this game. Got to hit singles. You don't need threes. Like you said, a lot of time left. Be great to get something going into half with a bucket and a stop if possible. That's a foul out top. Both teams doing a great job of not fouling so much, but that's kind of because the Cougars aren't missing from the field. Steinbacher, now Polonese. Anderson inside. Anderson doesn't get the roll, gets the rebound. Can't get the putback. Man, just tough for him down low. Thomas bothering those shots. 15 seconds remaining. Let's see what the Cougars would do. Waggler out top, toying with it. Plint. Don't play with your food, Waggler. Oh. Doesn't go. Taylor, though, with Bucks the putback. Three seconds. Mason with one at the buzzer, no. A 42-25 lead for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Michael, that was an impressive display of shooting from the Cougars of Shawnee Mission Northwest. I mean, it was ridiculous out there in that first half, the way they came out. And they just got to their spot. You know, it's like they've been practicing. This is what we do in practice. We're gonna come out here and we're gonna shoot the ball. And they've just been phenomenal so far in the first half. Well, and for Olathe South now, a chance to regroup after that first half. And it was both teams going back and forth early in the game. And then Shawnee Mission Northwest just kept making shots. Tyler Sam, when we talked about him, he had Ethan Taylor making some big dunks. It was just impressive showing for yeah, Shawnee Yeah, making Northwest. shots and getting stops. Just a phenomenal job so far. Let's go down to Dion, who's got Coach Birch. Well, pretty impressive first half. You got contributions from everybody. The bench came in, and, and Nixon got some rebounds. I mean, is that that's how you draw it up, isn't it? Uh, that's kind of who we've been all year. Um, you know, we feel comfortable with nine guys going in the basketball game. We feel we got really good players. Um, we got confidence in everybody, and that's kind of been what we've done. You know, you take away one or two guys, here comes another guy, and and that's what's that's what's been great about our team. Well, Lathe South's a really good team. Anderson's a good player. I, I, I know you fully expect them to put a rush on you in the second half. Well, you know, we're trying to make him put it on the floor, and, and hopefully the big boy goes over and helps and makes it tough. We know him and five. Corrales are going to make tough shots. We just got to keep making it tough. All right, well, thanks a lot. Thank you. Well, Coach Birch, and you really got to like it if you're Coach Birch, the way the seamen stepping up, guys stepping up for him. 
Halftime lead, it's 42 to 25. Taylor with the big dunk. And we'll be back for the second half here on the Hy-Vee and Pepsi Game of the Week on Spectrum News. The Hy-Vee and Pepsi Game of the Week is brought to you by Hy-Vee and Pepsi, proud to support Greater Kansas City High School Athletics. An impressive shooting display as Shawnee Mission Northwest with a 42-25 halftime lead over Olathe South. Let's take a look at the Hy-Vee and Pepsi first half highlights. Start with Nick Anderson. Well, Nick Anderson, one of the premier players in Kansas City, gets the rebound, pushes it up. No one picks up the ball right in the face to get the scoring popping off for Olathe South. And this shot right here, come on, man. Able to get it over Thomas before he blocked it. And right here, this is, I pay all the bills in my house. I'm an adult shot right here. Cause that's a grown man move right there. So on the other side for Shawnee Mission Northwest, Salmon. I couldn't think of anything to go with his last name at all, but the boy has a flame, flame Salmon right there. There we go, teriyaki Salmon right there. Four threes. Ended up with 14 points, and you take a look at the first half stats. First half stats brought to you by Hyvie and Pepsi, or Hyvie and Pepsi first half stats. And Michael, again, I felt like last game I did the same thing to you: three point field goals and shooting percentage. Man, it's it's right there in front of you, the name of the game, but how they're rebounding the basketball: 19 to 10. Points in the paint, 10-2. Both teams doing a good job of taking care of the basketball. But can Olathe South get a stop defensively? We'll see what halftime adjustments were made for Olathe Dion, South. And Dion, Dion. Let's go over to Dion. You guys talked to Coach Morrow, and, uh, you know, he, he kind of smiled. And I said, were well, they positive? And he's like, you know, they're a really good team. They're long. Um, he said, you know, try and make a few more outside shots so they don't have to go inside as much. Uh, they're going to switch up their defense a little bit, switch on every ball screen and try some different things, some of the stuff they normally do. Wasn't really working tonight. So he said it doesn't really think that this game affects their uh, sub-state spot, but they just said he just told them to go out there, play you know, play confident, play hard, see if they can climb back into this thing and, and get some confidence going early on. As you see Nick Anderson there. and Michael, it'll be interesting to see what these adjustments do if they're able to kind of slow Shawnee Mission Northwest down here in the second half. We'll see if Anderson's able to continue kind of his scoring in the second half. As it'll be Shawnee Mission Northwest starting with the basketball. Salmon. Collins. He caught that clean. He was letting that one fly. There goes Teriyaki out there with the ball. Salmon. Collins. Lob inside. Taylor, nice oh. move and another dunk. I'm bigger than you. Just put it up about nine and a half feet where no one else can go get it. Great job catching, gathering, and slam. There's Anderson. Collins. Corrales. Headed by Riley. Deep shot, Corrales, no. Taylor, the rebound. And one and done shot opportunities for Olathe South. Northwest doing a great job of rebounding the basketball. We saw that in the second half. Well, in the halftime stats. Inside, Salmon for two. There he is. Taylor. Teriyaki Salmon. Go inside and out. High low action with the layup. The Polynes. O'Gorman, he'll try the three. Hey! O'Gorman! O'Gorman knocking it down. We got a timeout. The timeout on the floor after the O'Gorman three pointer makes it 46 to 28 with 634 left. So let's take a look at that last bucket. We'll take a look right here. Good job by Polonese penetrating. Kick. Thomas is not necessarily going to come out there and guard that. That's a nice three-point basket timeout after the shot. Much needed bucket for Olathe South is O'Gorman. Yeah, he's a post player, but he can shoot from out there. Oh, you got to let it fly now. It doesn't even matter. Especially down big 18. 
you got to get some stops. So don't be surprised if South tries to pick up a little bit defensively, put some pressure on these ball handlers. Just try to get them to turn it over. Austin O'Gorman, a senior forward. Shoney Mission Northwest and Wagler with the basketball. Taylor, Collins, Salmon. This is Wagler again. Salmon thought about it. Nice okay. patience on the offensive end. Riley, deep three, short. Salmon with the rebound. He'll try it. Salmon! Rolls oh. out. I was about to dive into the crowd. O'Gorman again, just off. And Wagler fouled on the way up by Anderson. Second foul on Nick Anderson. Now Wagler. Polonies. Knocks it out of bounds. Well, you got to step up a defensive pressure if you're late this out. You have any chance of clawing your way back into this one. You got to get stopped and rebound from the defensive end. Collins, open three. No. Good box out by Corrales. Here comes Olathe South. Polonese pulls up on the break. Knocks it down. Much needed bucket for the Falcons. That's it, 46-31. Wagler, he'll try the three on the other end. Doesn't go. Collins inside. Missed. Taylor. Riley. No. Wagler. Open three. That doesn't go. Taylor over the back. Good box out from O'Gorman. And I couldn't see if O'Gorman was actually boxing out and, and stepping back. That's a great job. Getting in there on the legs. Yeah, he was going back, but man, you're seven feet. It's kind of hard to not go over. I mean, you just, you're already over the back their head. I mean, you're literally chest and shoulders and head above the other person at seven feet. Only a sophomore, man. It's going to be amazing his upside. Polonese in a late the south with the basketball. Anderson. Anderson. Inside O'Gorman. Blocked. Corrales, deep three, strong. Rebound, Wagner. Riley. And a foul against Corrales. Riley with a strong take to the bucket. Second foul on Corrales. Salmon. Taylor inside, Collins with the reverse layup. Man, that's just how you draw it up right there. Inbounder coming in, able to receive the pass back for the easy layup. Anderson, three-pointer, got it. Ooh. Man. Telly hitting those adult shots right there. Salmon, Taylor, dunk. I mean, did he even leave the ground? Barely. Like, my goodness. What a luxury to be able to just lob it in to your big man down there and be able to finish. Steinbacher. Take it away, Riley. Three on two. Riley, reverse, doesn't go. Polonese the rebound. Mason, step back. Triple, Ooh, got it. That was nice on the break. Saw Thomas and they thought twice about challenging the big man. Instead, knocked down a three. 13 point lead. If you can get this underneath 10 going into the fourth, you got yourself a ball game. Salmon. Collins. Hand check. Well, these last couple of buckets have been big 
Nice job on the inbounds play. Nice pass from Thomas for the bucket. And then over the top to the big man, I'm bigger than you. That's literally the, the, the play is called, I'm bigger than you. Get it to Thomas, dunk it. Great play. Wagler open three. Yes! Ay -ya! Oh my goodness, look at the net still hanging up there. Polonese, baseline, foul. Oh wow, that was That's good ball. defense down there. <laughs> All decent <of> Bolton <laughs> talking about that last play. Referee's even laughing. He's like, that's good D, man. That's good D. Right, good D, man. That's what you say. You know somebody's playing some good D on you. So Taylor will check out of the game. Vincent Nixon back in. Anderson with the spin and a foul. Two shots upcoming for Nick Anderson. He is so smooth with the basketball. He reminds me of Brandon Rush, a mix between Brandon Rush and Alec Burke back in the day. Their ability to handle the ball, create their own shots. And he's so long, he's probably going to go another couple, three inches the next couple of years. Good Wagler, his second foul. Anderson short of the first one. Well, Anderson, one of his uh, big games, a 32-point performance against Olathe West earlier this season. Does it go, and Vincent Nixon with the rebound. Hoskins, Vincent Nixon. Baseline, tough take. The defense from McGriff. Going around Hoskins for three. Oh. Got it. Got it to go. Home cooking right there. Polonese inside and foul. Well, it was close to a under 10 point lead, but here's Olathe. Or excuse me, a Shawnee Mission Northwest. Getting the roll right there. I mean, it hit every part of the backboard. The net still hanging up from Wagler's three. That was on Polonese. I didn't mention all conference last year. Returning starter, making the first. Polonese will get one more. Joey DeLargy also checking in for Olathe South. Polonese gets the second. There's a foul against Olathe South. So Olathe South trying to apply a little pressure here to try and get back in this game. 2-11 left in the third quarter. Wagner, Bolton, Hoskins, Vincent Nixon all the way, doesn't go. Rebound to Krutziger. Colony's coming down. Three-pointer, DeLargy missed. Bolton, Nixon, Dom Nixon. Bolton, baseline, step through, no, Wagler with the putback. And Wagler right there doing a good job coming in, rebounding from the guard position. And just like that, after cutting the lead down to 13, the loom's back out to 19. Anderson. Step back three, off the side of the backboard. Anderson hustles after it. Stays with the play. Didn't put his head down and pout about missing. Got back defensively and got that steal. Polonese lost the handle. All right, off his foot. Bolton. Vincent Nixon drives. Can't get it to fall. Polonese. Three on two. Missed it. 
and a foul, and shots up coming for Polonese. And Polonese definitely initiated the contact, but you always get the second person. He came through like Barry Sanders back in the day. Watch him push off on Wagler. Excuse me. And then gets Wagler called for the foul. The official's behind, so he can't see that little chicken wing arm at Polonese to put out the little chicken wing. Polonese making the first one. 18 point lead for Shawnee Mission Northwest. As Wagner will take a seat, Van Collins in for him. And Polonese looking for point number 10 here. Got it. Morales back into the game for Late the South. Hoskins, Bolton, three pointer, Dom Nixon, no. Tipped around and off of Van Collins to Late the South. So Kutziger with some nice hustle there. Mason. Kutziger. Kutziger for three, short. Steinbacher the rebound. Delargy. Inside pass. Nice pass to Mason. Good pass down to Mason. Cutting into this lead, 15 point advantage. But here comes the Cougars. Bolton drives and lays it in. Man, Bolton is so tough. Great finish. Two seconds remaining. Will they get a shot off? Corrales gets it off. No good. Too much. And it's a 60 to 43 lead for Shawnee Mission Northwest as they continue to hit shots. And Michael, now they're doing it kind of inside and outside. Yeah, they're pushing the tempo. They're playing fast and they're playing under control. That last bucket gets it in bounds. Press breaker, and it's just, I'm going, I got a bucket to go get. You just happen to be in my way. Sorry for that. So Bolton, nice finish to that third quarter for Shawnee Mission Northwest. And now, again, trying to stay perfect. Here is our score by quarters, our high vee and Pepsi score by quarters. And even third quarter, but how oh, that first quarter was just, it was huge for Shawnee Mission Northwest. It's, it's almost insurmountable 17 point advantage right now. Northwest would just have to go cold from the field. Like the South would have to heat up. Not saying it's not possible. Eight minutes is a lot of time with a stop clock. But so far, the Cougars have been unstoppable on the offensive end. So Ethan Taylor will start the fourth quarter on the bench. As Olathe South will start with the basketball. Polonese all the way. Polonese for two and the foul. Is it a foul? Okay, yeah, we, we can't hear up here, but Polonese turning the corner off the high pick and roll. We call that horns action. And he's able to get all the way to the basket. That'll drive you crazy as a coach. No one stops the basketball. He has an opportunity to complete the three-point play. So Josiah Polonese, a senior, plays with a chip on his shoulder. Doesn't go. Vincent Nixon with the rebound. Hoskins. Bolton. Three-pointer, Collins doesn't fall. Here comes Olathe South. But still, you get it on the 10. Oh, swatted away. Jump ball and possession arrow to Shawnee Mission Northwest. Take a look right here. Polonies thought he had it. But oh, what a defensive e effort that time. Wow. So 
So now Olathe South with the basketball underneath. And an opportunity here down by 15 to again try and close this gap. Anderson inside O'Gorman for two. O'Gorman getting on the bucket on the scoreboard. I'm sorry. 13 point. Let's see if they can get a stop. Again with Taylor, the seven footer on the bench. Oh, Vincent Nixon all the way. Oh, man. Nixon cutting towards the basket. Oh. Anderson doesn't go. Gorman. Oh, Gorman for two. And a timeout on the floor as O'Gorman with another bucket. Shawnee Mission Northwest taking the timeout. Taking the last couple buckets. Well, good job breaking the press. And Nixon just cutting down the lane for the bucket. Right here, O'Gorman with the rebound and the putback. Trying to keep this team close. Now you're playing against the clock. You want to 7-0-1 remaining. You want to get it underneath 10 if you can by five or no, no less than four. And then you got you got a battle. But it's going to be tough because the Cougars have shown that they break the press. They do a great job operating in half court. So they can play fast. They can play slow. They can pick up full court. That's a tough team to beat. That's a huge reason why they're undefeated so far on the season. Undefeated on the season, perfect in Sunflower League play as well. We've talked about how difficult this league is. The number of coaches that have told us over the course of the season there is no days off in the Sunflower League, and to be perfect at this point is very impressive. As now late the South will go to some full court pressure. Collins, Hoskins, oh, out of bounds. Did he touch it? And it will stay with Shawnee Mission Northwest. And Morrow thought the Northwest player touched it at the end. Colony's making his case to the official. This Bolton running point. Inside, Riley, the spin, Riley, a oh. tip from Hoskins. Oh, wow. Anderson, fouled and Anderson to the line, taking on two defenders. Fouls on Riley. One for point number 11, doesn't go. And now Ethan Taylor, the seven footer, back into the game. As Nick Anderson uh, one more to try to make it a 14 point game. Got it. Full, full, full pressure from Olathe South. Trying to get a steal. Taylor. Now Riley. Colonies with a steal. Ahead for Anderson. Hoskins runs it down, but he stepped on the baseline and will stay with Olathe South. <laughs> Wagler and Salmon now back into the game. Mason. Anderson, three-pointer, short. Corrales the rebound. Polonies. Polonies, fade away, got it. Nice job by Polonies getting in the lane. 12 point advantage. So 544 left in the game. 
Seven. You're, you're right there. If you can get some stops and scores, you're right there. If the Cougars don't have to play fast. And that's a turnover right there. I think it's a travel. So now the basketball back to Olathe South. They hit a three. This is a whole new ball game. This is a whole new ball game. If they're able to score on this possession, two or three, and then they're right back into it. Let's see how Shawnee Mission Northwest responds on the defensive end. O'Gorman, Anderson, three-pointer Mason. Oh, rolls out. Taylor with the rebound. Looks like Polonies is cramping up down there. Three-pointer, got it! Oh! That's teriyaki salmon right there. As Polonies get a little shaken up, and he's going to have to come off the floor. But salmon, what a three-point shot. Just picking up right where he Man, he's swimming upstream on this salmon. Shout out, Joe. Appreciate that one. Payow from deep. <laughs> Mason for three. No. Rebound, Taylor. Where's Salmon? I'm looking for Salmon. Oh. Collins almost got the finish. Oh, man. Million dollar pass, two dollar shot right there. You got to finish that one. Anderson's no. What a pass to Mason, and it rolls out. He had to get that one up quick. We saw Taylor right there. Waggler. Riley three. No. <laughs> Here comes Corrales. All the way, Matthew Corrales in a timeout for a late descent. Late this out, trying to hang around. Getting a big bucket from Corrales there. But Salmon, again, he's just hit three-pointer after three-pointer tonight. He's been rocking tonight. I mean, and he was wide open, took his time, able to knock it down. We saw him shoot a lot of quick threes, but doesn't matter. Same result. Well, next week, we will be showing the 5A boys substate game. That is Friday, March 1st. It'll be at 7.05. We don't know who the teams will be yet, but again, you know it's going to be a great contest as substate begins here in the state of Kansas. Fans out. <laughs> Fans, young and old, enjoying this one here at Shawnee Mission Northwest. Great crowd on hand. The Shoney Minish and Northwest fans enjoying themselves right now. Students have been into this game since the opening tip. Actually, before the opening. They, they gave me energy back here. I mean, they're literally right in our laps up here. And it's just been phenomenal. They're getting behind their team, hopefully pushing them down state as they go on the championship run. Do you see us? We're up here. There we go. That's me, Mom. I made it. I, ma I made it. We're on TV. <laughs> 413 left out of the timeout. 67-54 is the Shawnee Mission Northwest lead. Shawnee Mission Northwest with the basketball. Collins trapped here in the corner. And timeout called by Shawnee Mission Northwest. 402 left and Imagine that Coach Birch is going to be saying, keep the ball out of the corners. That is the last place you want to be with the basketball right now. Right. I mean, because I mean, any we've, we've seen crazier stuff on Spectrum News and some of these finishes. And, and, and Coach understands he's probably been involved in a few of them. You don't play around. You know, you finish the game the right way. Use the clock. You're up 13. Time, score, and situation. These are the games that get you ready to win close games down the stretch. And so coach is still coaching and trying to get that into his guys' heads, understand, hey, we're playing against ourselves and the clock right now. 402 left, 67-54. Shawnee Mission Northwest with the lead. Salmon, who's had a huge day today, especially from beyond the arc. 
Anderson steals the inbounds pass. Anderson gets the lay-in. Man, out of a timeout, and he steals the inbound pass. 11-point lead. The clock isn't running right now. It's been at 4-0-2 the entire possession. Collins uh -oh. for three. Oh, forget the clock. And it's still not running. I don't think they see that. As inside, a foul as Mason will go to the line. And a lot of free time here. So everybody's getting some free basketball. Yeah, that, it ran for about 16, 17 seconds of actual play. That clock has not moved. I don't know if it's a malfunction or what, but. Well, Coach Birch right now, probably not happy about the clock, but got to like Collins hitting another three-pointer. and. So about 35 seconds of actual time that did not run off the clock. And I think the officials are talking about right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty, thirty-five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 35, yep. 35 seconds. You saw it right there, real time. As Mason makes the first one. That was such impressive. <laughs> You know, timing. That was great. It was great. To, uh, I do it all, Joe. I mean, you do do it all. You know, it's not me. It's the You're thing. not in the Hall of Fame for nothing. You know, you know. I have to humbly accept that. <laughs> now, Polynese will check back into the game. 70 to 58 with 402 left. You're gonna lay this out. Full court pressure. Salmon. Collins, Salmon, three-pointer, no. Anderson the other way. Anderson for three, rolls out. Taylor with the rebound. And if I'm Anderson, I'm getting down here. I'm not necessarily selling for three. You want to chip away because it seems like they're going to get, and you just don't need these shots right here. Taylor uh -oh. slam. Well, you know what? I'm bigger than everybody. Thanks, Mama. That. Out of bounds to Taylor. Just, we've seen several dunks from him this evening. We've seen several of these right here. They need the chant from the student section just says, we got Tommy. Like, that needs to be the whole chant. We're bigger than you. Polonies back in after suffering that cramp. Polonese, step back three, missed. Salmon the rebound. Taken away by Anderson who lays it in. Man, they're not giving up. I don't know the time, maybe not enough right now, but if Sonny Mission Northwest continues to shoot the ball. Is Riley in some trouble? Collins. Riley missed it. Here comes Polonese. You just don't need the shots. I'm using the clock right now. Polonese has blocked. Ten. They get a foul, or was it a goaltend? So the basket counts. It is a goaltend. They called a goaltend. But no foul called. So now the lead is 10. Take a quick look right here. Did he get it off the glass? Glass. Oh, no, that, that, that wasn't a goaltend. It looked like it was a quick play. Collins got it in the corner. Wagler gets it out of the corner. It's, a ten, it's only a 10 point advantage right now. I mean, now they're using some clock and you, you hear the, the coaches yelling at them, use the clock, spread it out. That's where Anderson should have took the charge. Wagler, Taylor. Nice pass, Collins for two. That's a great job, great execution. McGriff for three, short. And out of bounds. And it is Shawnee Mission Northwest basketball. That's a good job inside on the cut from Collins. Able to finish with the layup. If you're gonna get a bucket, it needs to be a layup. You don't need to be shooting threes when you're up 12. 
Uh -oh. Lob. Taylor! Uh oh. Turn the lights out. The way the fans just fell out in the stands, though. You gotta love it. High flying action from the Cougars. And a foul called, so Taylor to the line. Take a look right here. Collins pays him back. You know what? You drop me a dime, I'm going to drop you one. Go and get it. The dunk and the foul and the free throw. You know what coaches say, you can't teach seven feet. This doesn't matter. You just can't teach it. The Salmon just checked out of the game, and again, an impressive showing from Tyler Salmon. Colonies take it all the rejected by Taylor. Anderson strong and Taylor a strong board taken back out of bounds to Shawnee Mission Northwest. Just frustrated but still great hustle from Nick Anderson. Now Wagler. And a foul against Polonies. Minute 24 left and Shawnee Mission Northwest now. Minute 24 away from staying perfect on the season. So Sam will come in and he will take out Taylor. And Taylor getting a nice ovation from the fans. What a performance from the sophomore. Yeah, he played a great game. Really impressed with his ability to pass the basketball as well. Riley, Bolton, Sam Mano behind him out of bounds to await the cell. Yeah, coach is not happy at all. Pushing the tempo, and they're used to playing hard, so it's kind of difficult to pull back a little bit, but you've got to learn if you're going to win big games because you're not going to blow everyone out. You're going to have to win some close games. You got to know how to do it. Morales. I like this kid. The fade away three doesn't go. Collins has the rebound. And a foul on Anderson. One minute left. Well, Shawnee Mission Northwest again starting out strong in this one. Salmon, who's just checked back into the game, hitting some big threes. And really built this lead, and Olathe South has been trying to come back the entire game. There's not quite enough firepower to do it. Shawnee Mission Northwest attempts to break the press. And a foul against Olathe South. That was on McGriff. So the 54 seconds. Salmon inbounding. Collins again fouled by McGriff. I don't know what the strategy is to foul down 15 right now. Just putting him to the bonus. It's Collins getting ready to shoot the free throws. We got to hold the table. They're jumping up here. It's Collins makes the first free throw. Well, Collins will get one more. Ben Collins, honorable mention, all Sunflower League last year, most improved player on this basketball team. Strong performance today as well. Polonis. Nice dribbling. Kick out. McGriff for three. Yes. McGriff. Remember McGriff, the crime dog? That's all I thought about when I saw his last name. Polonies shaking up. 
Yeah, he's been battling and cramped in his calf muscles. Got the hockey line change coming. So here's the thing. When you're coming off the bench, you haven't played the whole game, you're up right now by 14, 15. Do you take the shot if you have it on offense? If you, if you haven't played all game, do you take the shot? I say yes. Absolutely. I say yes. That's yeah. why you're my partner, man. <laughs> We're shooting. We're shooting. <laughs> we don't care. Coach said play all 48 minutes. How, how, I mean, no, it's, it's 32 minutes. Play all I'm shooting all 32 minutes. Sorry, I'm sorry. I run my lines at practice in the morning. I'm getting my shot up. As Collins makes the second, and he will be taken out. Like and that's that's me looking at the coach and he's saying, "Don't shoot." I'm shooting the ball. I'm letting it go. I'm just does it. I've been on the bench the whole game, probably the whole season. I'm shooting it, coach. I love you. Anderson lays it in. Clock will continue to run here. It's Ty Jackson. And Trinity Mission Northwest will not put up another shot, it appears. I don't know why not. Let it fly, 24. No, great sportsmanship by the Cougars. Came out and dominated from the tip, showing why they're one of the top teams in Kansas 6A boys basketball. So Shawnee Mission Northwest, an 81-67 victory here at home in the final regular season game for both of these teams. And now Shawnee Mission Northwest still in pursuit of perfection at 20-0, 13-0 in the Sunflower League. And for Olathe South, they fall to 14-6 and 7-6 and in Sunflower League play. Most wins in school history for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Let's go down to Dion Klissu, who's got Tyler Salmon. Let's go fishing. Well, Tyler, big first half for you guys. I mean, you played really well. Uh, is that one of the better halves you guys have played all year? Yeah, definitely. We just we moved the ball well. We got to the right people. We played defense. We did we did our thing today. Well, tell me this. You come out in the second half. They're, they're a good team. They're going to fight hard. How important was it for you guys to focus and, and you know, do some things like break and presses, things you're going to see as the season goes on, especially as you get into sub-state in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, that's what we practice. We we just go through our press break. We, we stay composed. We, we do the right things. We do the right things, yeah. What's it feel like to finish an undefeated regular season? It's, 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 it's awesome. It's an honor to be such a good team. Oh, go celebrate with your fans. Yes, sir, thank you. <laughs> As the fans come on to the floor to celebrate with the Shawnee Mission Northwest basketball players, Michael, what a season for them. What a phenomenal season. It is so difficult to go undefeated, but great job on those guys this season. We will take a quick break. 81 to 67 is the final score. We'll be back for some final thoughts here on the Hy-Vee and Pepsi High School Game of the Week on Spectrum News. Shawnee Mission Northwest taking some pictures after the 20 win regular season undefeated as they defeat Olathe South 81 to 67. Michael, big night for Shawnee Mission Northwest. What a night we saw from them getting this win against a very good Olathe South team. I mean, it's a complete game from start to finish by a complete team who can play any tempo, fast, low, half court, pick up full. They do it all. The only thing they have to work on is time scoring possession, understanding when to push the ball, when to pull it back. But kudos, hats off to those young men. Undefeated regular season, will it translate to the playoffs? Well, we will find out. Substate is coming up here in the state of Kansas. And what a night here on the Hy-Vee and Pepsi Game of the Week on Spectrum News. Big thanks to Angelo Giacalone and Philip Simmons, the athletic directors, coaches Dan Morrow and David Birch. Thank you to our producer director, Joe Novacek, and our outstanding crew. This is good night here from Spectrum News. Have a great night. Again, 81-67 to is your final score. We'll see you next week.